Math 1, Unit 5, Worksheet 2, this is numbers 1 through 4, Mr. Tretna from Clovis High School. Something to think about before we get started. What? When you say forward or back, your lips move in those directions. Okay, so in this uh, particular worksheet, what we're working on is is we are working on how to, really what we're going to do is we're going to sketch the graph of each function and then we're going to ignore all this other part of it right here because we're just not responsible for knowing it yet. So whenever you see the domain and the range and the y-intercept and the change of the y-values of the function, we'll get to that at a later date, but today we're just focusing on sketching each function, okay? So a couple of things to remember before we get started. The first thing is the variable y and then the expression f with the parentheses x, those two um, expressions, y and then f parentheses x, those are equivalent to one another. They mean the exact same thing, all right? And then the other thing is that the word function, all the word function means is that we're going to have an equation. Function means an equation will exist, all right? And whenever we have an equation and we know an equation exists, that means we're going to get be we're going to see an equal sign like right here. So in number one, we are going to sketch the graph of the function. And a function, the word function just means an equation will exist. So here's my equation: y equals eight times one half to the x power. Okay. So in order to um, sketch this function, the first thing that you always need to sketch a function is it's always a good idea to make a table. So you can see I have a preset table for number one already. I have preset x values. I have chosen my x values to be negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I've chosen eight different values. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each one of these values for x. I'm gonna substitute it into my function, my equation. And I am going to then evaluate and see what that is going to equal, and then whatever that equals, it's gonna give me points that I'm gonna plot on my graph. So in my first value that I'm going to evaluate, I'm gonna substitute negative one in the place of x. So that means my y value will be equal to eight times negative one half to the negative one power. Okay, to evaluate that, I can't have negative exponents when I evaluate. So what I do is I have to change this entire parentheses from one half into two over one, but when I do that, it makes the negative one power a positive one power. Working that out, that just becomes eight times two, which is equal to 16. So the first point that I'm going to plot is going to be the point negative 1, 16. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to input or substitute each one of these x values into my equation in the place of x and then I'm going to evaluate to see what y equals. So 8 times 1 half to the 0 power, I inputted or substituted 0 in the place of x becomes zero power, makes this entire second part equal to one, so that would be equal to eight. So my second point that I'm gonna plot is gonna be the point zero, eight. Okay, inputting in one in the place of x into my function, I get the expression eight times one half to the one power. One power does not change the base at all, so that would just be eight times one half which is equal to four. So I'm gonna plot the point one, four on my graph, okay? And I'm just gonna continue repeating the process. So I'm gonna substitute in two in the place of x. So my y value will be eight times one half to the second power. That would become one half to the second power is one fourth. Now why is that? One times one is one, two times two is four and then eight times one fourth is equal to two. So I'm gonna plot the point two, two. 
Inputting in 3 into my function, I get 8 times 1 half to the third power. That would become 8 times 1 to the third power is 1. 2 to the third power is 8. 8 times 1 eighth is just 8 over 8, which is 1. So I'm going to plot the point 3, 1. Okay, substituting in 4, my expression for y or my function would become 8 times 1 half to the fourth power. Raising 1 half to the fourth power gives me 1 sixteenth. 8 times 1 sixteenth is 8 sixteenths which reduces to a half. So that means I will plot the point when x is 4, y is 1 half. Continuing on, substituting in 5 into my function, I get 8 times 1 half to the fifth power. Taking 1 half to the fifth power, I would get 1 to the fifth power is 1, 2 to the fifth power is 32, 8 times 1 over 32 is 8 over 32. I reduce that to 1 fourth. So I'm going to plot the point when x is 5, y is a fourth. And then the last value that I'm going to substitute in is going to be 6. So I get 8 times 1 half to the 6th power. Evaluating the exponent first, 1 to the 6th power is 1. 2 to the 6th power is 64. 8 times 1 over 64 is 8 over 64. When I reduce that, reduces to 1 eighth. So that means I'm going to plot the point when x, x is 6, y is equal to 1 eighth. Okay, so now I'm going to have, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 points. I'm going to plot them on my graph, and then I'm going to connect them either with a straight line or with a curve. Okay, so my first point, when x is negative 1, I go up to 16 on the y-axis and I put a point. My next point, when x is 0, I go up to positive 8 on the y-axis and I put a point. My third point, when x is 1, I go up to 4 on the y-axis. My next point, when x is 2, I go up to 2 on the y-axis. When x is 3, I go up to 1 on the y-axis. When x is 4, I'm only going to go up half a spot, which is halfway between 0 and 1. When x is 5, I go to 5. Now I'm only going to go up a fourth of a spot. A fourth is halfway to a half, so it would be there. And the last one, when x is 6, I'm only going to go up one eighth of a spot, which on this graph means I'm barely going above what would be 0. Okay, now you guys, you should be able to see that when I plot these points, this is not a linear graph. It would be linear if I could put down a ruler like I'm doing right now, and I could connect every single one of the points with my ruler. So I cannot do that. So this means... That my graph is going to be connected... I'm going to connect the dots, but I connect them with a smooth curve. Okay, so my exponential function is going to look something like that. And you will notice I don't stop at the last points that I made. I kind of get a general sense of what my graph is going to look like. And then I just extend the graph a little bit, a little bit going up above this point, a little bit going down that point. So this right here would be the graph of the function y is equal to 8 times 1 half to the x power.